afternoon and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark and this afternoon we're going to go for a walk around our 2011 Volkswagen Jetta 118 TSI Comfort Line sedan. Starting at the front of the car you notice it's got the distinctive chrome grille in the Volkswagen, also fitted with factory colour coded front sensors. Uh, a very minor couple of little marks there just to be touched up. Uh, actually, I'll probably be able to just scrape that off. It's probably just a bit of dirt actually. Finished in a nice cool silver colour, it presents really well uh, for a 2011 model. Actually looks like it's just come out of the showroom. Fitted with factory alloy wheels, you know, notice the alloy is unmarked. The tyres are near new as well. And as we scan down the side of the car, uh, the overall presentation just continues uh, to be really impressive. The right hand rear alloy in really good order as well. So uh, just the way this car presents, a credit to the previous owner. As we come around to the rear of the car now, once again distinctive chrome badging through our boot lid. Does have colour coded reverse sensors as well. If I want to be really particular, a minor little touch up required there and possibly a little one there as well. Very minor cosmetic items but uh, we like to, like to highlight it so you can see exactly what you're getting. As we move around to the passenger side now, presents very similar to the rest of the car that we've looked at so far in really good condition. A very minor little scuff mark on the left hand rear alloy and the front left alloy absolutely unmarked. So impressive exterior on the car. A minor little mark on our left hand outer mirror but that will polish out. So uh, no, I'm impressed. Back around to the front of the little Volkswagen now. We'll have a little bit of a chat about the, this car's performance. Just get our bonnet rod there, pop it into position. You notice the bonnet's uh, elevated well out of our way. Impressive little engine bay. This car powered by a little 1.4 litre turbo motor is going to give you 180, 118 kilowatts of power, 240 newton metres of torque, but at the same time is going to deliver stunning fuel economy. 6.2 litres per 100 k's, based on a 55 litre capacity fuel, te fuel tank, expect in excess of 880 kilometres to a tank of fuel. Back around to the rear of the little Jetta now, simple matter of just pushing on our release button to um, open up our boot and really impressive storage area in the back of the Mazda. Just so happens every single car in the dealership's driving in as we're filming here. As you can see, really large storage area. I've also just opened the cavity in the back of our second row seats, just in the event you need to store something a bit longer, you've got that flexibility there. Also in the back here, really important to note, full size spare wheel in the Volkswagen, which is really good. Rather than a space saver, it's got the full size spare. Never been on the car, it's a brand new tire. Also, just that, that's our little plastic cover plate, just a little storage compartment, which just locks back into that position to fill the cavity in the event that we're not actually utilising it. So, uh, as you can see, everything in there, like brand new. Here we are inside the little Jetta now, and uh, I've got to say, it feels like I'm sitting in a brand new car. Starting on our driver's armrest, we've got all of our power window switches here on the actual armrest. And then up above that, we've got all of our controls for our exterior mirrors. They are heated as well, the exterior mirrors. Good little feature to have in winter time. A uh, little button to manually lock and unlock our doors. And then right down in the bottom of the door trim, we've got a manual release for our boot lid as well. Up above that, we've got our, uh, our little dial for our automatic headlights. So they are light sensitive, will turn themselves on as it gets darker in the day. Our controls to brighten the dashboard and also adjust the height of our headlights as well. Uh, being a European car, we've got our indica uh, sorry, our wipers on our right hand side. And uh, it is a tilt and reach steering wheel. Set ourselves up in position. Simple matter of popping that lever back up to lock it away into position. Leather wrapped steering wheel as well. All of our controls for our settings on our dashboard. So it just feeds us all of our information. Bluetooth, uh, what station our radio is on, when the service is next due um, and all of the information we need from there. On our left hand side we've got all of our audio controls and also our Bluetooth button as well. Important to note while we're focusing on the dash, only 12,500 k's or not even that at this point in time. Moving into the centre section now, 
um, air conditioning and heating vents here, our multifunction control unit, which is our CD player, AM, FM, stereo as well. And then below that, all of our settings for our heating and cooling, climate control, dual zone air conditioning. So you've got it all there, set the temperature you desire and just hit auto, away you go. I'll move the T-bar out of our way for now. Just so you can see, there's an auxiliary input and a 12 volt outlet there as well at the front. Little storage area there. Um, parking sensors, which is uh, quite apt that a car just drove past us at the rear of the car. You did hear those sensors activate just to say there was something close to us. Now, also important to note, seven speed DSG auto. We can drive it just as an automatic or we can also flick it across into performance mode which enables us to change through the gears manually and you will see the gear gear position appear up on the uh, dashboard as well. Cup holders directly behind that, leather wrapped handbrake just to our left and then little storage compartment just in here as well in the console. Also important to note in our glove box as well in this little car um, we do have an auxiliary cord here the glove box is cooled as well, so you know if you've got the air conditioning running, pop a couple of sandwich in, sandwiches in there, they'll stay nice and fresh. And uh, most importantly now, I just want to focus on the quality of the interior. The seats, door trims, and even to that extent the carpets and the factory car mats, everything presents like brand new. As I said, only 12,000 Ks, service history is perfect. Um, it's had two services, a 5,000k interval and a 10,000k interval. So it hasn't done a lot of driving this little car. Um, really impressive and that's why it presents like new. So in summary, uh, super impressive little car, the Jetta. 2011, 12 model, only 12,000 kilometres, five star ANCAP safety rating. Um, a really quality example of a, a Volkswagen Jetta super impressed i'm super impressed uh, feel free to give us a call on 9907055 for any further help mm -hmm.